Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Rheinmetall AG is a German technology group headquartered in Dusseldorf. The company's history dates back to the late 1890s, when it was known as the Rheinische Metal and Machine Factory Corporation. Over the years, Rheinmetall slowly branched out from manufacturing machinery products into several different industries, including defense, arms, and automotive components. For this reason, it is currently able to produce some of the most advanced mobile weapon systems in the world. The company is responsible for designing and producing a wide range of vehicles. including the Leopard 2 main battle tank. The Boxer armored fighting vehicle. And the Martyr infantry fighting vehicle. Rheinmetall operates globally. and serves customers in both the civil and defense sectors. But the German Army remains one of its primary buyers. In recent years, defense organizations around the world have become increasingly aware of the threats posed by drones. Also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, drones are remotely controlled or autonomous aircraft ranging in size from massive planes to near invisible handheld devices. Nonetheless, even the smallest drones can infiltrate friendly airspace to collect intelligence or even perform precision strikes. To defend against drone attacks, Rheinmetall developed its Skynex truck. This state-of-the-art vehicle is highly mobile, with advanced features throughout. But it's really just a platform for the SkyShield anti-aircraft system. This consists of a 35mm revolver cannon with a 1,000 round per minute rate of fire. Equipped with powerful sensors and built-in radar systems, this gun can quickly dispatch an entire wave of small surveillance drones in under a second. The SkyShield system can be positioned at various defense points, but it provides better protection when mobile. And while the Skynex truck helps move the cannon from location to location, Rheinmetall decided to create an even more versatile version of the weapon the Sky Ranger 35. This all-terrain armored vehicle is fast and able to navigate complex landscapes with ease. Its eight wheels help it move over obstacles quickly and efficiently. While the automated cannon uses state-of-the-art search and tracking sensors to engage targets on the ground and in the air. With its 4,000 meter range and 360 degree firing ability, the cannon is a highly effective weapon against all sorts of different threats, especially drones. Rheinmetall AG's rich history allows it to design and manufacture a wide range of products, including munitions. In fact, the German company is a world leader in the field of artillery, mortar, and infantry systems. In 
In 2021, the company even managed to set three new world records for long-range artillery firing. A G6 howitzer with a 52 caliber gun fired a conventionally 155 millimeter round more than 47 miles, the longest shot ever achieved with this combination. The munitions are developed across several sites using state-of-the-art production and design methods. The result is some of the world's most powerful and capable artillery. Another European company that has earned a reputation for producing high-quality defense products is Zaklade Mahanichna Tarno more commonly known as ZMT. This Polish defense company has specialized in designing, developing, and producing military equipment and systems since 1917. Among its many products are artillery systems, mortars, and ammunition. ZMT puts a lot of focus on research and development, continuously working on improving its outcomes and developing new technologies. Like Rheinmetall, ZMT has invested significant time and money in developing counter UAV systems. The resulting weapon is known as the PSRA PELISA Surface-to-Air System. The PELISA is designed to provide air defense capabilities to protect military units and strategic assets from low to medium altitude aerial threats like UAVs and cruise missiles. The guns incorporate advanced radar technology for detecting, identifying and tracking targets, which can then engage with various guns and missiles depending on the nature of the threat. Most importantly, the PSRA PELISA is highly mobile and can be deployed quickly across multiple combat scenarios. Its Grom missile has a range of up to 5,000 meters and uses explosive fragmentation to destroy enemy targets. Aerial vehicles, whether manned or unmanned, have posed significant threats to ground troops since the invention of the aircraft. That's why it's so crucial that military units have a quick and easy way to engage these planes and drones. Since the early 1980s, one of the best options has been the FIM-92 Stinger. The Stinger is a man-portable, shoulder-fired, surface-to-air missile system primarily used for engaging and destroying low-flying enemy aircraft. Because it is small and relatively light, the system can be operated by a single soldier. Each unit has a built-in infrared seeker to track the heat emitted by the target aircraft, reducing the need for complex aiming. The missile has an average range of three miles and can engage aircraft flying as high as 12,000 feet. However, since many drones don't emit powerful heat signatures, militaries worldwide, particularly in the US, have found ways to integrate the system with newer radar and sensor suites. The United States military has recently explored using microwave and directed energy weapons to shoot down UAVs. There are various types of DEWs, all of which take a different approach to disabling aircraft.
Microwave weapons, for instance, use high-powered electromagnetic radiation to disrupt or damage the drone's electronic components. Is that, that's them, but I don't know where the, I know they came down. By damaging the aircraft's communication suite, flight control systems, or onboard sensors, they can cause the drone to lose control, malfunction, or even crash. EMP weapons emit a short, intense burst of electromagnetic energy, which induces powerful currents. When directed at a drone, an EMP can overload and fry its delicate electronic circuitry, rendering it inoperable. Lastly, you have lasers. These fire a concentrated beam of light at the drone, melting the target mid-air. The CRAM weapon system, which stands for Counter Rocket Artillery and Mortar, is one of the newest solutions the United States has for protecting its military installations and forward operating bases from aerial threats. Though the system could theoretically be used against drones, it is intended to stop incoming rockets and artillery. Which move much faster and can be much more challenging to engage. The origins of the CRAM system can be traced back to the early 2000s, when the United States military faced increasing threats from rocket attacks during the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. The development of the CRAM system involved the integration of radar for detection and tracking, command and control systems for situational awareness, and various types of intercepting weapons to engage the threats directly. The most notable is the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, which utilizes a rapid-fire 20mm Gatling gun and a radar-guided system to destroy incoming threats up to 1,600 yards away. The weapon's six barrels allow for a minimum 2,000 rounds per minute rate of fire, essentially using a hail of bullets to overwhelm the target. The most important aspect of the CRAM system is its modular design. While highly complex, it consists of a series of parts that can be assembled, disassembled, and moved relatively easily. When broken down, the main components include multiple radar systems for surveillance and tracking, and a fire control system. which receives information from the radar systems and calculates the optimal intercept point for the incoming projectiles. Lastly, there is a command and control center. This houses the operators who monitor the radar data, analyze the threat level, and make decisions regarding interception and the associated power and support systems. The CRAM is a fearsome weapon. It can operate fully automated when necessary and features highly advanced night vision capabilities to engage threats in any condition. With the incorporation of this new system, Allied militaries worldwide have a powerful new way to protect themselves from incoming threats, whatever form they may take. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.